So this is one of those questions that feels really tricky and you need a little bit of insight to get started on it. All right, so we're just going to jump straight into it. 15% um, of Coke cans have less than 372 mils of liquid in them. 10% of Coke cans have more than 379 mils. Find the mean and standard deviation of this, assuming that they're normally distributed. Uh, okay, so uh, what do I know? I know quite a bit, but it also feels like I don't know enough at all. Uh, I've got a normal distribution here. Now, 15% of Coke cans are, are less than 372. All right, so put that in there, 372. And this area here is going to be 0 0.15. Um, now, 10% of Coke cans have more than 379. So I can put in a dotted line here for 379. Um, and that area there is going to be 0 0.1. Now, the question I'm being asked is, uh, what is the mean? Question mark. But also, what is the standard deviation? How spread out is this? Now, at first blush, I don't really know how to go about this because if I jump into my calculator and I do some sort of like inverse normal, uh, it wants to know the mean and it wants to know the standard deviation. I don't know either of those, so I can't just sort of type them in there. But... We do have something really, really useful, and that is the standard normal distribution. So let's think about what our standard normal distribution is. Our standard normal distribution has a mean of zero. Okay, uh, and now what I can do is put in this thing here and just make that area 0 0.1. And put in another value here and make that area 0 0.15. Now, I'm going to call these two values here like Z1 and Z2. So now that I've named them Z1 and Z2, I can actually just find them, right? Because forget this for a minute. This is a standard normal distribution. I know that the mean is zero, I know the standard deviation is one, I've got uh, a left tail here, I've got a right tail here, so I can use the inverse normal on my calculator to come up with um, this Z1 value and this Z2 value here. So I'll just need to go into my stats mode here, uh, need to go into the distribution, the normal distribution and inverse, and then I need to do two here, so I need to do a uh, left tail, uh, the area is 0.15 on the left hand side and it is a standard normal distribution that I'm doing so 1 and 0 there um, and I'll calculate that and I'll get negative 1.0364334 so write that one down but then I also need that right tail as well the area uh, for the right tail is 0 0.1 and it's a standard normal again and I get 1.28155. So let's write those down and we'll keep going. And I've used my inverse normal on my calculator here to get negative 1.03643 and 1.28155. Now that I've done that, I can use that standardization formula that I've used before. Uh, that is z equals x minus the mean over the standard deviation. Now, I can use it twice, right? I can use it here and here. So Z1 equals the mean minus, sorry, the X value minus the mean over the standard deviation, and Z2 will be the same. And I can now put in Z1 and Z2 into my equations. Um, now, X is going to be 372. And I don't know the mean, and I don't know the standard deviation. And this one, 1.28155, equals x, which is 379. You can see they line up there. Minus the mean over the standard deviation. Now what I have is sort of the thing that we worked for here is equation 1 and equation 2. And I can do some simultaneous equations to find the mean and the standard deviation. Now I might just um, multiply uh, by the standard deviation on both sides. So we'll get negative 
three times the standard deviation, uh, 372 minus the mean, and I'll do the same on this side, 1.82155 standard deviation equals 379 minus the mean. And you can see now the equations um, are in the same form, right? That's great news because now I can uh, solve them simultaneously using elimination. All right, so that's equation one. Uh, this is going to be equation two. And now I can use elimination um, to solve that, right? So I can subtract one equation from another. Now that minus that is going to be some number. This minus this is going to be some other number. But importantly, negative mean minus minus the mean is going to be zero, and the mean is going to fall out of that. All right, so that's what that spits out. Now I can do negative 7 divided by negative 2.31798 equals the standard deviation. And the standard deviation here is uh, 3.01987. All right, now I have a uh, standard deviation. I'm half of the way there. I just need to know what the mean is, and I can do that by subbing that back into one of those equations. That one looks like it might be a little bit easier, so I'll sub it into that equation there. Sub into equation two. So that will be uh, 1.28155 5 equals 379 minus the mean divided by um, 3.01987. Okay, and just going to solve that for the mean. You can do that, so that's not going to be difficult. I'll just pause it and do it. And just rearranging that, we find that the mean is 375.1298856. Uh, now they advertise that they're 375 mils, so it looks like we're doing well here getting a bit of a bit of a bonus so I found the standard deviation and I found the mean and that's what the question was asking us to do all right so really a bit of a tricky question here but what you just need to understand is that if you can convert whatever normal distribution you have into a standard normal distribution and then find those z scores using your inverse normal distribution functions then you can use these equations to sort of work backwards from there. Very tricky question, really test you.